hello everyone okay in this video we'll see how to put up an executable jar with a maven shared plugin so I'm here in Eclipse this is Eclipse Neon the latest one go for a new project maven 1 create a simple archetype well this is what is actually true for most projects even if you you know, choose to have springboard applications say next give it a group ID something like say com dot mx example or defect ID would be say mx example application leave version and packaging to packaging as jar alright finish So we'll see that a uh, template has been created for us. Now this actually points to JDK 1.5. I have 1.8 in my machine. So what I can do is in the POM file I'll set up Maven compiler plugin first. So let's say just go to Google, say Maven compiler plugin. Click the very first link. Go for this guy, which says source and target Java compiler options. So you are to set up the build and plugin section. Copy this stuff right from here. paste remove what does not make sense here uh, you don't need even to hard code this stuff Let's say what you can say here is properties have the properties section say java dot version put 1.8 here then you can actually replace these like this and this is pretty common approach in maven pom setups java dot version copy the same stuff so what source and target mean here is that if it is developed on 1.8 it would even be deployed on 1.8 JVM. Alright, save this guy. Now, what you want to do is you want to say Maven and say update this project. Say OK. Now you see it is pointing to the 1.8 JDK that I'm having in my Linux machine now. Alright, next. Let's have a program file here. The entry point. Say a class. So give a package name. We, we don't want a package name to be a default one. Say MX example. And here just say program or anything like that say fast program would also do finish so let's have a main method here this uh, Eclipse already has these stumps pre-built for you like say you say main and just press enter on this guy it will give you the public static word main method now let's see if we can add some dependencies like say no java project is actually complete without google goava junit or lombok project so we'll add google goava here so what you do is you say google Maven. Go to the Maven repository. Core library 21 uh, 
version number 21 is the latest version Let's go over there and copy this dependency Let's go to your palm xml file put up a section called dependencies this is like collection of dependencies uh, the first dependency will come here as google govava1 save this guy as soon as you save you would see that maven is already downloaded the required jar for Guava. Good. Now let's use something from here. Let's say string name is equal to say my name Amit Kumar. Oops, typo. Now let's use this guy strings used from Google Guava dot is null or empty ah, you know what let's put up an if condition first if goava strings dot is null or empty say the name let's say if this is not null or empty then let's just print out something like name is not null and it's just add name here that's it save this guy run this okay we see <coughs> that the program is working fine now coming to maven shared plugin uh, with the current setup there's no way you can have an executable jar so even if you go to the project workspace let's go to file manager let's see it so in the target version we need to have in, in the target folder we need to have those that jar file created for this project all right so go to pom.xml and under the build section guess what you got to put up maven shared plugin all right again go to the google search say maven shared plugin uh, there's complete documentation available uh, so what you can do is just go to the very first link and go to the executable jar section copy this stuff we have the plugin so we need to copy this paste here so if you see that it will be of type package go the shared and main class is what we've got to change here so our main class basically resides in package this com.mx example and the class name is first program or program rather yeah that's it now you run this as a maven build it ask you for goals give up the usual ones clean and install run we see it is it has succeeded and it has actually created a jar file for us at this location so let's go to our directory structure come here this is the jar file is talking about o 
open terminal say java to jar mx example snapshot see do you see this output it is coming from this executable jar file so it has actually encompassed all the maven dependencies you give and this is the way you do it uh, there is uh, you know what you, if you want to give a proper name a different name rather to your uh, created jar file you can actually do that by going to pom.xml After build, say final name. Uh, let me say I want to give this name as MX example only. Save this run the maven build again target you see this file that whatever name you gave has turned up though generally this is not preferred because even the version information needs to go in which actually happens by default when we saw earlier like snapshot version is one so run this done all right if you have any questions just post them directly as comments in this video thanks for watching